What up, what up, what up, what up? You know what I'm saying? Or equal whatever, you feel me? Listen, man. Oh, they got my man Ben in the game. They got Ben in the game. Trey Bar. <laughs> Listen, that's not that's that's not what I'm here for. All right. I'm sitting here watching some of these games this good afternoon. I'm gonna try to catch as many as I can. Keep my eye on whatever it is that I can keep my eye on, including that can't that that trade ball from uh RJ Barrett. I hate the Knicks so much, man. I do not like the Knicks. I like a couple of things they got going on. But anyway, listen, man, if you if you haven't seen what Jay Williams said in regards to Kyrie Irving and the whole situation that they got going on with the Jewish community and not even the Jewish community to everybody on Kyrie ass and, and Kyrie made it easy to be on his ass, man. I mean, over the past couple of seasons, he didn't came up with so many different reasons why he shouldn't be in the NBA. So I'm not letting him off the hook for that, but I do think what's going on right now with him is, I mean, it's, it's extreme. It's very extreme, right? If we if we take our personal feelings out of it and look at the entirety of the situation and what's really going on, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, Jay Williams came out and put his job on the line, his his life on the line, his whatever, whatever career he has as an analyst. I mean, he put it all on the line recently. And um, and you know what? I'm going to play it for y'all if you didn't see it. Let me see if I can find one. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 putting, I'm putting my life on the line right now, you feel me? Because they're going to try to strike my channel or something. You already know. You already know how they get it. Ben with the defensive play. Y'all crazy on Ben. All right, I'm just kind of trying to find this. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. Let me see if we got some volume to it. Yep. All right, so I got it. I'm going to share it with y'all right here, man. And then you can let me know what you think down in the comments below but let's get it cracking right here man take it back a couple seconds All right. there my life i approach it with a state of empathy right regardless of what color what creed what race you are i look at people as human beings i think that's important but life is always about taking a stand and holding principles. So mm -hmm. I want to explain. Y'all hear that? Holding principles. See, a lot of y'all out here ain't got no principles. A lot of y'all out here ain't got nothing that you're living for. No code or no standard that you go by or nothing like that. No critical thinking going on or nothing like that. What I feel like my stance is as a black male. And I really like how he worded everything. He he articulated this the best way that he could so that so that you can't leave room for nothing else. You can't uh it's no room for misinterpretation. He worded everything exactly the way it should have been worded. In this world. Okay. And conversations that I've had with my brothers and sisters in the black community. And I want you guys to empathize with it and hear me on it. So when I hear what Kyrie Irving has to go through in order to be reinstated, I'm appalled. I'm appalled. And let me give you examples. So I don't, just to clear the record, I saw this video right here, but I didn't, I only watched this video because, you know, I think all of these dudes full of shit, but this right here showed me, I, I was a, a, a against the fence with Jay Will, but this right here showed me that you know Jay Will probably he 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 a real one, man. Jay Will is a he a real one for even speaking out on this and putting everything that he got on the line right now. 
of how I feel like we don't have the same energy and hold other people who have dealt with racial tropes accountable. So when Sarah Silverman does blackface, mm -hmm. or when Don Imus says nappy headed hoes, hoes. You know Don Imus. or when Howard Stern we know calls somebody the N word in the skit. Howard Stern ain't got no respect for no goddamn body, but that no, that's not Jay Will's point. Or when Brett Favre takes money from the state of Mississippi, we don't ask them to get sensitivity training. We don't ask them to donate five hundred thousand dollars. We don't ask them to meet with the black national caucus they apologize and then you know what the rest of the world moves on but what i feel like is happening here and that's how in the black community like we've been told that's how the process works talk to him jay jay talk to him man talk to him jay hold on because they ain't listening they ain't listening the rest of the world moves on Talk to him, Jay. But what I feel like is happening here, and that's how in the black community, like we've been told that's how the process works, right? Think about that, Britt. That's how the process works. Oh, somebody does a black face. Oh, it was a misunderstanding. We got it. Okay. You know, is that person really racist? Probably not. Was it ignorant? Probably so. Okay. We understand it. We move forward. We don't like it. We would love to hold them accountable. But society and having a lot of black people in positions of power, we don't have the governability to do that. Y'all hear that? Having society, you got a lot of black people in positions of power. We don't have the ability to do. But what we feel like happens with Kyrie is even after an apology, it's not enough. We feel like there needs. And all y'all out there, man especially black people most more in particular black people i ain't the biggest Kyrie fan in the world man but if you if you ain't if you a person who decided to take this chance and turn your back and i want to say turn your back on Kyrie, but at least not pay no mind if you didn't look into anything that he talked about or nothing that's really going on none of the facts behind it none of the allegations behind it none of the stuff if you didn't look into none of this stuff but you have an opinion on Kyrie Irving, shame on you, man. Shame on you. To be more. And a lot of people I've spoken to over the last couple of days talk about this thing, older mentors of mine, talk about buck breaking. And so we talk about- A lot of y'all niggas don't even this know what buck breaking means, like man. in the black community. That happened way back in the day, where if there but was a turn that back was on defiant, Kyrie. right? He got broken in front of everybody in order to show that he was not in a position of power and that at the end of the day he had to do what he was told to do because that's what was mandated of him and there's a bigger situation going on what's happening with Kyrie Irving if the Nets don't want him to be there just say you don't want him to be there but we should hold everybody accountable even owners of teams accountable with things that are happening in other countries, i.e. China and Uyghurs and the Muslim genocide that is occurring that we hear Ennis Cantor talk about. But we don't keep the same energy for everybody. We pick and choose what conversational points we want to make more polarizing. And I might lose my job. I might lose deal opportunities in the future for speaking out about even the platforms that continue to promote and profit a movie that is considered anti-Semitic to billions of people. They don't have to be accountable. Who is accountable? But we're going to put everything on the shoulders of Kyrie Irving, who, even though he said, I cannot be anti-Semitic because if I know where I came from, stating that he's one of the four lost tribes. He's saying that blacks and Jews come from the same entity, the same thing. But we don't want to understand nuance. We don't want to understand we want to be nuance by words, and we like fire, and we like things that are, you know, going viral on social media, and everybody has some kind of hot take, and we're calling people idiots, and we're calling people names because that's what's that's what we do. We just destroy each other. I ain't gonna destroy each other, man. One hundred. I'm not Jay. gonna do that. Is Kyrie Irving anti-Semitic? Hell no. Could he have gone about it maybe a different way? That's what I would have advised him to do. I'm not going to let you guys sit out here and make this dude out to be like he is a villain, like he is a bad person. He is looking to explore his heritage. Now, you can crucify me if you want, 
I don't give a damn anymore. Yeah. It's time for people to start speaking out with nuance. Yeah. And speaking out on the principles they stand for. Yeah. And that's all Jay got to say. You feel me? He ain't known. He ain't known this no more. He ain't known this no more. He off it. He off it. All right. I'm off it too, man. I just wanted to get y'all that one right there, man. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.